We are still uh, dominating in the industry. 25 and 30 employees, 7,000 customers. The volume over here is between six to 10 million. So when I used to be an installer myself, you should take the time to learn. If you do a one-time installation, allows a company to grow. So if you have a thousand customers that they pay you $30 a month, I was a technician at the beginning, and then I bought the company. But if you're happy and if you have the, if the mission, Hello, guys. Uh, welcome to our People Systems podcast. This podcast is uh, we do in specific for security systems industry. We are talking with top managers, with owners of different companies in, in this area. It's manufacturers, distribution, integrate, integrators, installers, even security consulting. And today, our first guest in this podcast is Vincent from company Secure Plus. And uh, I'm super happy to have uh, Vincent here and uh, the first question Vince please introduce yourself to like in few words uh, the name of the company again and uh, maybe in what area you do your service your role in this company thank you Oleg uh, we appreciate and uh, yes my name is Vincent Rossi I am the founder of Secure Plus uh, which was uh, the company was born in 1990 and today in 2024, soon 25, 34 years later, <laughs> yeah. uh, we are still uh, dominating in the industry. Basically, uh, my role as a CEO, the president, is to make sure that uh, uh, my staff and customers and, and are, are well served. I listen to them. I need to understand what their needs are and if there's any improvements, make that decision. Um, I try to make the decision collectively with the employees and the, the, the customers. Also the partners, or, uh, our partners being our suppliers. Uh, many suppliers that we use may, might be Motorola, ICT, and Access, uh, Command, Aphone. Uh, we work together on projects and we try to find a solution that will help the customer uh, be better served. So is it right that you play in few roles? So you founder, you owner, and you CEO of the company, right? Exactly. So as a CEO, you want to make sure that every single uh, division in, within your company uh, has success. And okay. the people have to have the tools to be successful in each department. Uh, it's not an easy task. Every day is, is a, you know, there's, there's issues every day like any other business. But what's important is to listen and uh, make sure that uh, uh, your employees, your staff, uh, your subcontractors, your customers, are, uh, you're able to reach to their, what their needs are. Uh, you course. need to find a solution. Uh, our mall goal is uh, Secure Plus, uh, the solution. So if we, we try to find a solution to any uh, issues that uh, a customer might have, an employee might have, a partner might have, and we work as a team. Okay, yeah. and to understand the size of your company, it's like how many employees do you have? So Secure Plus right now, we uh, average between 25 and 30 employees. Okay, and uh, how many uh, technicians, installers in this team? And yeah. So as for technicians, you're around uh, 12, 13 technicians, let's say 14, mm -hmm. and about the same for uh, in-house administration. So the administration, we have a uh, receptionist, we have a controller, we have two people at invoicing, we have a person at the receivables taking care of the receivables. Then on our service department, we have three people taking care of the service. If anybody calls in for support or uh, they need uh, to have uh, a schedule a technician for a little service call, so we have th three people on that. And we have three people also in the installation department. Installation department meaning that once a job has been sold by the rep, the installation department will take it over, place the orders, analyze the, the job, and then uh, assign the technician or a team to get the job done. And how do you do like uh, technical support of your customers? Like you using help uh, support of manufacturers or you have some own support for your existing customers? Yeah, so good question. So we, it's a hybrid system. Mm -hmm. Basically, we tell the customers that they reach us at all times. Uh, in case there are specific clients that need to talk to the manufacturer because uh, the IT department wants to know certain issues, so they're allowed to call our, our manufacturers if our manufacturers allow uh, end users to call them. Right. Uh, but we prefer to get that call. Why? The calling tree has to come to us. 
One, because our conversations are recorded and we're able to work, put out the work order and understand and what, see what the problem is with the client. So if ever the customer calls back, we, have, uh, we can preview what happened in the past and then make the proper decision or address the proper uh, technician or manufacturer's uh, support team. Okay, it's, uh, thank you. And uh, again, I want to like repeat maybe to our viewers that the mm -hmm. goal of this video is like to help uh, to make this market industry better, uh, like using our experience yes. to share some success, uh, successful experience. And that's why, uh, can you uh, please, I know this question is very sensitive, mm -hmm. but again, if you can say this, yes. so can you share some numbers of uh, like income or revenue of your company? in for example, in the last year to understand again, it's about size, about impact, uh, of your company on the market in your area? Right. So being a company that's been around since 1990 with about 7,000 customers, uh, we do residential 7,000, I want to like 7,000 customers. 7,000 right? customers. Oh, it's a huge. It's quite a, quite a good number. Uh, being in residential, commercial, industrial, uh, the volume over here is between 6 to 10 million. Okay. That's, that's the average. Yeah, I, and I think it's in Canadian dollars. I, I, I think it's good results. Yes. And you, uh, you doing your service, your company. It's uh, in what area? Because now we're in Montreal. Right. So it's only in Montreal, or it's in all province, uh, Quebec province. Right. Or even you have some projects outside. So right. In, so Secure Plus uh, head office is in uh, Montreal in Hybrasa. Um but we were able to service Quebec market uh in ottawa and uh with our own technicians getting ottawa when we have job because we have customers that have job we have we're placed in in, in vancouver in uh, bc in new york and singapore even in us so, in US, US, in so, so exactly so when we have these jobs that require technicians to be abroad we then use partners subcontractors mm -hmm. and the partners that we have usually uh, they'll uh, do sub work for us and we do the same for them. So if a company in the States and US uh, it does a job for, for Secure Plus, now when that company has to do a job in Montreal or Quebec or Ottawa, they would call us and we return the favor. So that's the way we do it. We have oh, a partnership it's, it's, in globally, if you want. It's really interesting, like this idea, because uh, like we know that security systems installations is mostly a local business, yes. right? And sometimes I know that uh, when customers from some other areas, when they come and asking about installation uh, of installers from another area, so in most of installers, they say, no, say, uh, sorry, we don't service, we don't serve in your area. Right. But you, you found some way how to like not lost uh, your uh, customers, exactly. right? Exactly. So, just to what's the secret maybe of this cooperation well, you, what's the, the, the way is that we usually have uh, for example in Montreal the head office is here but they have multiple branches so the secret there's no secret I mean it's you know people's person right people so you need to approach you have to approach the uh, the installer in that area most of the time the installer the company is from referred by the manufacturer Right. Mm -hmm. Motorola might say, hey, wait, we have someone in, in, uh, in the States, uh, this person is uh, uh, such a company, they're, they're the same size as you, they'll take care of your customer, we call them up, we get the relation going, and we help each other out. Mm -hmm. that's, that's how we do it. Okay, mm -hmm. and here, um, because you mentioned that you uh, work with brands, so with manufacturers directly. Yes, yes. And because uh, I see that a lot of... Uh, Installers they work with distributors yes. who which represent some brands and some installers they work directly with uh, manufacturers. Yeah. So what's the difference? And uh, it's it's your choice or it's like uh, we, what is better? Right. What do you see? No, it's I th we buy from distribution also. Mm -hmm. We have great uh, distribution uh, partners also. Mm -hmm. um, when we deal with manufacturers, it's because it's the model of the manufacturer. Mm -hmm. The manufacturer will only sell to uh, qualified dealers. Uh, so the model, I guess... I so mean, you do training, right? So training, uh, you need to be certified, you need to have a certain volume. Okay. You need to have a certain volume to continue to be part of their... Uh, to have some interesting uh, projects. Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't... 
It's rare. We've never had, I mean, it's very rare that we, we get referred projects for the manufacturers. It's our own customers. We bring the projects to the manufacturers. So we qualify the products. Uh, we, appreciate, we appreciate when a manufacturer has a complete offering and uh, if they have a proper support, proper training. So the key to success is uh, make sure your staff is properly training, uh, trained, uh, salespeople, installation, service, everybody, whatever you sell, you should know it from A to Z. Uh, if you're not able uh, to, I, I have a hard time, I, I, I keep on telling my, 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 my sales team, it's hard to sell something that you don't know, right? If I don't know how to sell this calculator, then how am I gonna convince you that this calculator is made for you? So. Uh, we need to have that 100% uh, uh, solution within the manufacturer, the sales team, and the install installers. Yeah, but um, in this case, uh, maybe you, you will agree with me that how I see this uh, market, because a lot of like maybe small installers, they don't have like time to learn. And they mostly learn the, about the products on the project already right. when they doing something. Right. And maybe it's a problem uh, why small installers uh, don't grow because like they always need to rush, rush, right. rush and like right. to do some work and they don't have time even to watch our YouTube videos with reviews so, of new So products. if I could comment on that, Oleg, uh, I've been there. I've done that in the past when I used to be an installer myself in 1991, 92, 93. And with the experience of today, I could tell you one thing is that you need to make time to be able to take the proper decision and, and, and make sure that the, the job you're doing or the customers you're getting are gonna be, uh, are gonna be when we say return on your investment. So the time that you're putting in to learn the product and the time you're learning to sell the product will only benefit you in the future. Why? Because you could sell the product better. You, when the customer is gonna be buying from you, mm -hmm. they're buying from someone that has experience, someone buying from someone that has the knowledge so they'll pay that 10, 15% more to have that knowledge. So if you're always running on, uh, you know, and unfortunately, it is like that in our industry, unfortunately, but it shouldn't be. You should take the time to learn, understand, comprehend, have the total solution, so that when you see a customer, when you sit down with a customer and you look at the customer's needs, you're able to answer to exactly what he wants, what he needs, and what he should get. And sometimes a the customer, they, they think they have the project in their head, but they might, might be missing the, 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 the link. Sometimes the right. weakest link is the knowledge. So. And uh, again, if we're talking about the knowledge, what uh, I see on the market, not only in Canada, mm -hmm. it's the same, like I'm from Ukraine, yes. like I'm newcomer, and uh, I spend all my life in security systems. Uh, what I saw in Ukraine and here in Canada, in US, it's very similar picture when some installers they okay they received some knowledge about how to set up some specific brand mm -hmm. right and then they spent once some time and they trying to be like all the all their life of their business only with one brand yeah. they and so they focusing only on one solution and because like they think it's enough mm -hmm. but again it depends on the brand right, right? and some right. brands they use some technologies from the past and this installers doesn't maybe don't see new solutions, new products. And right. So of course, and we, we know we go through the same challenges and evolution in the security has, it's important that you follow it. Um, always keeping focus, right? I think, you know, when you're installing, you're offering cameras and then you have uh, artificial intelligence and you have either on-prem, cloud, it's important that you have a specific partner I think what's, what, what the challenges are today, imagine if you, were, if you had to have uh, 20 different type of cameras or 20 different type of uh, alarm systems or card access, how can you properly service your customer with a vehicle that has a camera of a brand A, B, C, D, E? So in essence, what you need to do is understand and work with a partner that works with you. So a partner, a manufacturer, or a distributor has multiple technologies, but your focus and you have, uh, the, for you, for your customers, you're able to identify which product is gonna to respond to that customer, to your market. Then you have cameras, alarm systems, card access. 
I'm not saying you have to have, I think you, you should always have an enterprise offering mm -hmm. and a residential commercial offering. You should have two. I personally don't suggest that you have 50 different products. Mm -hmm. It's going to be too hard for the inventory. It's going to be too hard for your technicians. And then when you're going to give service for your customer, your support team, uh, sir, hold on, I need to verify what, you know, what's installed, not yeah, installed. It's, it's so it becomes complicated. And then instead of making money, you're losing money, right? So I think... You need to choose some golden... Uh, uh, exactly, nuggets. the golden nuggets. But, but I, honestly, I think two products in each virtual yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, vertical market. So in the cameras, you should have two products, an enterprise and a, a lower... Uh, a residential. Uh, residential commercial. Uh, same thing for alarm system, enterprise and the volume, residential, commercial. Card access, the same thing. Uh, intercom, the same thing. And... Um, Apart from that, then there's a cloud. So cloud could be something separate because the cloud allows you to install. Uh, honestly, a customer doesn't really know what they're getting. All they know is that they need to protect this door. They need to have access. They need to see cameras. They don't really know what's make and this and that. They're going to come and see you. They're going to ask the, ex the expert, right. you know, this is what I want. Which product is going to give me that opportunity, that, that, uh, the view or the, uh, the information I need to get. And I think that's the challenge that we need to have today and we okay. need to focus on. And here is, is if it's uh, about business perspective, like, uh, for example, for you, you mentioned that you do residential and commercial. Yes. But like when I, when I speak with different installers, I see some people, they do only residential installation. They believe it's more like more maybe simple for them mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, but other like uh, installers they for example do only commercial they work yes. only with developers they want to work with only with huge projects for them it's easier because like it's b2b mm. you don't need to no it's you you know some specific yes. uh, advantages and disadvantages yes. of both th uh, sides yeah. and in your uh, company in your revenue if you will see how much like it's uh, in residential and how much in commercial and maybe mm -hmm. what's where is this uh, better uh, easier way so like other companies and we started the same way when we started back then in the 90s it was mostly residential and small commercial because we didn't have the knowledge yet uh, as the company grew and the customers needs they changed mm -hmm. now the customers say hey are you doing the camera from us? Are you doing the, the alarm system? Can you do card access? Can you do this? Can you offer us uh, cloud? Can you so, so you listen to your customer and you cater to your customer, but always keeping a focus where you started and you never forget your first customer. The residential customer is just as important as the multi-million dollar customer, the, the, the customer that has uh, 20 locations or 100 locations. Why? Because the residential customer, you, you install an alarm system, he's going to be loyal, he's going to be faithful, he's going to refer you other customers. And we have a division for residential commercial. There is uh, uh, consultants that will cater to residential and commercial. Myself and uh, my fellow worker, my fellow, uh, we do more enterprise solution. So you, you need to have the balance of both. Another reason why is because uh, the market, sometimes the budgets don't come out, whatever, so you know you have the residential commercial that keeps it flow. So sometimes you have a market that is, that is on, a, on, on, on a slow downfall, and then you have the, the residential that goes back up, and vice and versa. Then, like, exactly. So and, you have a balance of both. Yeah. And uh, so you prefer commercial, like you mentioned. So you, your focus, uh, your own, yeah, in, so in your team. Exactly. So on my team, I have residential commercial salespeople. Not that I don't do it. I'll, I'll take care of it if I have yeah. to. But myself and my coworker, we do uh, enterprise solution unified and more big, complicated big, big, big uh, systems. Yeah, big, big, big integrated big. system on prem and cloud. So and if we, if we uh, will come back to re a question about revenue, so mm -hmm. you see it's like 50 50 in your revenue or it's like uh, I tell you right now, residential is a third, a commercial is a third and another third is cloud. So. Cloud. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Can we talk about cloud? We could talk we about cloud. We didn't <laughs> do this. We could talk about cloud. So, uh, what what does it mean, cloud? So, cloud. It's not for everybody. Okay. Um, I believe on-prem is still going to be there forever. Why? Because on-prem solution for um, major systems or systems or companies that 
uh, are afraid of uh, uh, being hacked or they want to have total control of their, 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 their systems. They want to have on-prem. Uh, they want to make sure that nothing goes out, it's not connected to the internet. They want to be closed on a closed circuit. They're going to manage that and I agree with them because depending who you are, you know, if you're a national defense, depending who you are, you want to make sure that you're in control mm -hmm. of your own destiny. Uh, cloud is getting better and better, you know, the firewalls are better, the, the, the uh, cybersecurity is much more advanced than they used to be. I like cloud for companies that use multiple locations. Like mm -hmm. uh, I, I have an office in Montreal, in Toronto, in New York, a couple of doors here, a couple of doors mm -hmm. there. Um, I don't have a security team behind me, you know, I have an IT infrastructure where I want to look at everything, be able to program, but the updates are done automatically. My, uh, my uh, security company could log in and take care of it. So I believe the cloud has a space as much as the, the uh, on-prem has a space. In this okay, market. and it's, uh, now we're talking mostly about storage. Or some like uh, AI additional, some uh, like uh, right. analytics. Uh. Right. So the beauty about cloud also allows you to have storage uh, on a data center. You can have them now in Canada, in the US and uh, worldwide. Um, updates are done automatically. So if a camera needs to tomorrow morning uh, uh, detect anybody's wearing a, 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 a red jacket, well, that uh, information could be in the cloud and the camera could send the metadata to the mm -hmm. cloud and have the, the, and do a search on, on, on that specific color, color of that person, of the code. Um, you can do it on-prem, it's licensing and all that, cloud is licensing, but because it's done in the cloud, you don't have to have anything uh, on-prem, on the servers are all in the cloud. Uh, any camera could be used, you don't have to have a specific cameras, unless it's done on the edge, but most of the cloud solution Every decision is made at the uh, cloud uh, software, uh, servers in the cloud. And uh, is it right that cloud is uh, maybe more common for commercial clients or for, res for residential too? Well, cloud, uh, you buy a Google Nest uh, camera and if you want to have recording, it's on the cloud, right? That's with Google. Right. So it could be as much as residential as commercial. It's a question of, um, there's a, you know, there's a, no, like if, for, for if, your business. Right. For our business, it's important because uh, you can, uh, instead of doing a CapEx exp expenditure, you could do it in, in your operation as expenditure. So mm -hmm. for someone, instead of saying, oh, I'm going to invest uh, uh, 100,000 or 200,000 dollars of servers, I'm going to pay so much per camera per license, and w mm -hmm. all the features are going to be on the cloud, and they're going to be adaptive, ad adaptable to so it's like what, what, yeah, you're adapted to your needs, right? Okay. And your budget. Yeah, and this is like uh, for clients, it's subscription, right? Exception, yeah, exactly. So, uh, yeah. Okay, and if it's about a uh, question about subscription, mm -hmm. because I see it's uh, in North America, it's yeah. a huge, huge market about uh, monitoring companies, yes. right? Yes. So it's yes. video monitoring, uh, for intrusion monitoring. Right. So some installers, they uh, offer the service, they connect the systems which they installed yeah. to monitoring company mm -hmm. and they have some commission, yes. right? Yes. Every month it's mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. it's a, like additional business. Right? Exactly. So the, re the recurring yeah. in the business is important because it allows you to uh, sustain the, 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 the challenges of uh, months that are not as busy as others. So once you have a subscription based clientele, they're going to pay you so much per month for the, the idea is to have as many as you can so that your overhead is protected by the reoccurring revenue. And then yeah. when you do the jobs, it's gravy. That's when you have your profits or vice versa. It depends how you want to do it. But uh, the benefit to it, I mean, uh, yes, it's beneficial for the company, but also for the end user, for the customer. The customer, why? Because the customer doesn't have to worry about updates, doesn't have to worry about uh, uh, systems going like down, your, yeah. uh, alerts, worries about notifications. Uh, exactly. Uh, call the manufacturer, call the, the, your technician, call the installation company. It's done automatically, and we and the installer, our company, is aware of what's going on. Right. So we're able to give that service to the customer because they're paying a monthly fee, but the monthly fee gives them a lot. Gives them yeah. access to the application, gives them access to the updates, gives them access to the new features, gives them access to uh, AI, artificial intelligence. So there is a space for the cloud. And I, and I think, I believe, I strongly believe the future is going to be towards that. 
uh, even in the alarm, in the regular uh, residential mm -hmm. alarm, we're going to see a lot more cameras that are going to be detecting uh, intrusion or human behavior. Where so we have uh, AX, Ajax, and I think they're ahead alarm of the system. Uh, yeah, they're oh, uh, and video surveillance, video already. surveillance also. They're ahead of the game because they understand that the video with a contact, especially you want to have uh, a valid, they verified the yeah, human now, being. Now they have to. video scenarios. Exactly. So you can man you can set up video scenarios and also you have receive AI notifications. Exactly. Like with human detection, exactly. like car detection. Exactly. So to avoid the false alarms uh, but, also. Yeah. But here is uh, now we start to talk about technical side, mm -hmm. but uh, I want to say that it's still uh, like here in, for example, monitoring companies. Uh, so I see some installers, they don't use this opportunity to earn mm. more money. Yeah. Because I know a lot of my friends who still, like, they don't offer this product to right. end users. Right. They look, okay, you need uh, intrusion, maybe a few cameras, I will install, install and that's it. So right. it's like, for me, it's uh, less, uh, I don't want to, right. maybe, again, maybe it's about knowledge. So maybe it's about they don't believe that they need to spend more time to explain the customers that it's the right solution, they, they will be more protected. For why, sure. Why it's... Well, uh, be, because as when you're, uh, when you're working by yourself or you have one or two installers, uh, the administration behind it is heavy. So you need to have invoices that go out each year, maybe once a month. You have to be able to collect. But what's good today uh, with the software like Zoho, QuickBooks, and other you, like Serum, uh, Serum you, you, can, you can generate an invoice and the customer can pay online and you get the money eventually. But why you want reoccurring? You need reoccurring one because it attaches the customer to you, right? The customer is always going to remember who you are because the customer is going to get an, every, he's gonna get an invoice, he's going to remember, secure plus, secure plus, secure plus. You know, say, oh, I need cameras, I need intercom, I'm buying another house, they're going to call you back. If you do a once time installation, chances are they can forget about yeah. you. And the reoccurring, the model of the reoccurring allows a company to grow. So uh, how do we grow? So if you have a thousand customers that they pay you $30 a month, yeah, you make the math, yeah. it, makes, it makes a lot of sense. Even though you have to pay the, the monitoring station and your staff, but the idea is to have as, as many customers as you can and grow the market yeah. and grow the RMR. It's not easy, there's a cost of doing business, but it allows you to be able to sustain or uh, go through the, the the months that are not as as, as fast. <laughs> yeah. Now, like uh, I see that, like in this, in your answers, in the like I see the small details, yeah. which I believe they make you uh, more success. Yes. So more successful, and uh, I I believe that our viewers they uh, they listen this and they understand this. Because well, like it's super important. Exactly. And uh, when we see so a lot of small installers uh, on our in our market, who which spend like years, years, and their like uh, size of the company doesn't like doesn't grow, mm -hmm. so then they don't see some perspective. Maybe they, I asked in uh, in social media like how many installers want uh, like for their kids the same professional right. so to work by installers right. after the university when they right. will be adults right. Right. and not a lot of uh, people want this right. and uh, but i believe with such examples and we will do more and more and i think i think that you have around you a lot of successful uh, people yes. in our industry mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. people must see this and people must learn from this from of them yeah. and uh, maybe i needed to ask this very important question yes. maybe from the start mm -hmm. so can you uh, tell about your first steps so you mentioned about 1990s right so what like why you uh, started this business you you work by technician you like yes what you so when i started was? back then um i went to a dawson college i studied electrical technology and one of my project was voice recognition back then with the Z80 uh, processor. I'm talking the technical, but old, old technology. Okay. And um, I had an interest on that. And then I worked for a small company uh, doing alarm system. And so I actually, you worked by technician? I was a technician at the oh. beginning. And then I bought the company I used to work for. 
the man wanted to retire, wanted to, and, and I bought his company. And okay, I can, okay, can we so. hear it's not very fast? Mm -hmm. So, uh, one of the like uh, ability, like or like uh, a, a, so for for technicians, so they can work and they can buy company where yes. they work. Yes, so I think it's uh, very so it's a key interesting. it's a key thing. So um, your success, I mean, you cannot do everything on your own. You need to be uh, if you want to do growth. You're going to do acquisitions, right? And it's important to do acquisitions. Why? Because you can get uh, qualified staff. You can get more people around you, better people, you're knowledgeable, different clientele. Uh, if you do it on your own, one by one, you will succeed. But it will take you a lot of time. So acquisition is 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 a key feature in the growth of your company. Um, what's important also is to understand and be ready to be challenged and be ready to listen and be ready to um, go by example, right? So even though you think you know everything, you do not know everything, right? You learn. Everybody, I don't care who you are, you could be CEO of Nike or whatever, wherever you are, every day is a challenge, every day you learn and every day you get a better person. Um, so back then when I started as a technician, I had a little vehicle uh, doing installations. I remember uh, I had to get the job done because I had to make my money to pay my vehicle and bring some money at home. Right? No, 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 no choice. What's today's generation is a bit different because uh, the labor force is a challenge. Uh, technology has changed, more complex. Uh, clients are demanding, they have, their, they have access to different knowledge through uh, social media so you're faced with all these challenges and how do you overcome these challenges but you need to be surrounded with the best people so there is no shame of being to, with the best people around you you're gonna win in this industry by having the top uh, admin people the top service people the top technicians the top reps the top customers the top customers are gonna go with the top companies why because it's knowledge so what I could tell anybody is work hard, uh, understand, listen, get sur surround yourself by the best in, the, in, 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 in this profession mm -hmm. and do not feel ashamed or uh, uh, misled because you're requesting information, you're trying to get, you know, you're trying to uh, upskill yourself, right? So it's always, the this, this skill sets is important for you to get that information Go to school, training, webinars, uh, speak with people like Oleg that have and we'll people. watch YouTube videos. Exactly. About so products. I think I think Oleg, uh, you know, not because you're here, but uh, your your YouTube channel is important. I, I view it all the time and I learn Thank from you. it. Thank you. It's important because you you show us a different facade of the industry, and allows me to understand, allows me to redirect myself, allows me to make certain decisions that I wouldn't have made otherwise. So that's the best feedback. That's why I'm here. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> I'd like to help each other out, yeah. Uh, thank you, Vince. And maybe the last questions, mm -hmm. and, uh, and uh, I want like to understand like if you will return to 1990s. Yes. <laughs> so what the steps you see, the main steps you had like to become, grow. like to grow and to become like Secret Plus like now? So back then, um, like you, you, you start small you, like right. Started, started small as a company. technician, installing, invoicing, everything. Do I was doing everything, uh, administration, uh, 24 technician, seven, twenty four maybe. seven, seven days a week. I had more than one job because it's, I wasn't making enough money with security, so I had to do other jobs, right? Uh, until I had enough clientele, enough customers, enough demand, and which was sustainable to for me to survive. Um, I made the choice of opening up uh, the division of residential, commercial, industrial, because I didn't want to be a slave to my business. Mm -hmm. but it's important not to be a slave to your business. It's important so to delegate, delegate, uh, find the qualified uh, technicians, staff, and work with them in, in, as, you know, it's a team. You don't win a hockey game with one player or one goalie. <laughs> We've seen that so many times in soccer, the same thing, right? Uh, it's a team. Even though in races people think, oh, it's uh, uh, Lewis Hamilton that, that won, but it's not just Lewis Hamilton, there's a team behind that, engineers and all that. So in order to be successful and to, to become, uh, you know, have, have more penetration in the market, 
you cannot do it alone. So you need to accept. And, you know, at the beginning, you might lose money. You're going to invest your money. Because right now, if, you th if every job you do, you say, oh, I made $500. I made 1000 Good. I want to make another one. I will do this by myself. Like. But, you know, once you're going to be uh, 45, 50, 55, 60, you have grandchildren, you have kids, uh, you want to spend more time with them, it becomes difficult. So the opportunity is there. Uh, is it easy? It's not easy. It's not for everybody, right? Because if it was for everybody, everybody would be doing it. Um, the challenges are there. As long as you're a hard worker, as long as you, you're, do, you're you know, dedicated and you have your mindset to make things happen, it will happen. Uh, it's like anything in life. You know? If you believe in yourself and you portray that image to your customer, the customer is going to buy from you. So we always said to people, people buy from people. Right. So I could sell you a calculator, I could sell you a stapler, I could sell you a pen, yeah, if, well, if I know what I'm talking about. And, if, yeah, and I, when I trust you, like when I already uh, bought something and I'm satisfied. Exactly. So there's that mutual trust in, in place. And you have to be there when the customer needs you. You have to be there for the good times, you have to be there for the bad times. But you have to be there. You have to be able to face the situation every day. Uh, manpower is, is, is not easy, labor is not easy. Uh, customers are they're, they're, they're more demanding than they used to because of the knowledge, but it's up to you, it's up to the company, it's up to you, when I say you, the product is the right. whole corporation. As long as everybody within the company is able to understand what's the mission, then you will succeed. But you have to understand the mission. So, and uh, is it right that you believe that uh, even some new a young technician who is new on the market, if he will work hard, he can uh, like build some successful company in such industry like security systems. Of course. I'll give you an example. My son, uh, Nicholas and Dominic, which mm -hmm. are in the company, and Anthony too. <laughs> and, Anthony uh, here is yeah, exactly, in the room. You know, so, um, and they get discouraged because uh, it's difficult, I, you know, I don't understand anything, uh, there's a, uh, there's no more time for me, but it says you have to be dedicated, you have to understand, but you have to have a passion. If you have a passion of what you're doing, you will succeed. I'm sure in your business it's not easy. In my business in it's not any easy. Business. I mean, right now we're, we're having this conversation, we're having the knowledge, but it's not easy. If it was easy... It's not value. Exactly. Where's the value of something that's not easy? Yeah. Well, when you work hard, you plan it properly, Yes, there's months you're going to lose money, there's months you're going to make money. It's an average, but if you're happy and if you have the, if the mission is well explained, and if it's a passion, you will succeed. You will not succeed by staying at home. You will not succeed, be successful if you just work with one customer at a time, because now you're putting yourself in an environment where, what if this customer doesn't like me anymore? What if he goes with another company? I become vulnerable, right? And you don't want to have the big vulnerability. You want to be able to have multiple customers, multiple markets, but always knowing the product and being loyal to the manufacturer and the customer, but having the, the possibility of saying, hey, if my residential is, is not working well, my commercial is doing well. If my commercial is not doing well, my, my, my enterprise business is doing well. If my enterprise is not doing well, my cloud is doing well, my reoccurring. So it's, it's, it's like when you're, 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 you're making a, a venue a soup or you cook, you're cooking, right? Right. You're making the lasagna, it's not just pasta, right? The sauce, the ingredients, so the ingredients has to be... A great example. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it's the same thing in our industry. It's the ingredients. Everybody, I always tell people, the product is not uh, the, what you have in your hands. The product is your team, it's your, 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 your staff, it's Oleg, it's, it's your partners. These are the product. And if you work well with the product, then you, as a human being, as a CEO, as a president, you did a good job. It's, uh, it's, it's amazing. And uh, I am super appreciate that uh, you, you spent this time with us, like about your advices. And uh, I'm sure like uh, you really example of like that is, it is possible to be like to become successful in such industry like security systems. Yes. And uh, I wish all our viewers like to 
be smarter, to have more knowledge, to 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 do a lot of things which you uh, right. told. And, and if I may, uh, Oleg, if, you, if I need to be a mentor to anybody else, feel free oh, to give them so my contact. We will put the email in description to this video. It no, will be no, no awesome. Problem. So, so we can have uh, more. Uh, and I, I, I can have one on one. If someone is, in, is, 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 is not sure or he. He's afraid, or the person, or the yeah, he or she. You know? I, I see this in different groups in Facebook, like yeah. groups for security installers, mm, technicians mm, mm, in different mm, areas, mm, like CCTV, alarm systems, and uh, it's very like a uh, common thing when people there's some guy he writes in the message that like guys I'm working technician, I'm thinking about open my own business. Do you recommend me or mm, not? Mm, and mm. most of comments like maybe like um, in first hour fifty comments like guy don't do this like i spend all my life it's like it's not very good business it's not good industry you know people don't don't want to pay enough money for mm -hmm. example if you compare with plumbers with electricians yes they have like more uh, some uh, money in this go to another industry in construction it's a lot of negative in, maybe i see this or maybe the people who success successful they don't right comments <laughs> right so i think uh, it's a mix because the security back then was a nice to have right you need a plumber or else you can't drink water you need electricity or else you can't cook you understand so there's necessity in the construction the security was an afterthought mm -hmm. today people need security to protect what they've worked for what they put together you want to protect your house your car your your, 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 your environment, your safe heaven, eh? you want to protect your family, uh, your pets. So that's why, and, and it's just that. I mean, we have uh, smoke detectors, we have yeah. carbon monoxide, we have uh, uh, now with uh, uh, detecting uh, people that are vaping in schools and all that, uh, guns. Yeah, so it's not about uh, only it, it's no It's no longer a, a, a before it used to be, oh, Mr. So and so has the nicest security, but never used to harm it. You know, he was number one security guy. But today, it's become a priority and not uh, a nice to have. Um, what I suggest also is, for sure, starting from scratch is difficult. I understand that. Uh, if you can do an acquisition, be good. And sometimes you can go get uh, financing from the bank, BDC, or uh, other people, and you could buy an existing company so that you're already in the market, you're already getting the revenue. Mm -hmm. For sure, if you had to start today alone, no, I want to be negative, <laughs> I'm encouraging it. But, <laughs> but don't uh, say that it, it is impossible. <laughs> I never said it's impossible, it's always possible. It all depends on you, right? Yeah. The time you're gonna put, the anyway. So either you're, you're, you're dedicated and you will sacrifice every single day, you'll put your blood, your sweat to make it happen, or if you want to go the other route, do an acquisition, buy a company that's already mm -hmm. has some technicians, some sales, some clients, and then you're gonna, your, your role is to develop. Exactly. Make this grow. Yeah. yeah. Vincent, uh, it's, uh, Oleg, it's awesome. Thank, thank you, you so much, much for the Appreciate time. It. And again, your email will be in description. <laughs> if I can be a mentor to someone, let me know. It's It'll awesome. be a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you, thank you guys for watching thank this you. video. Yeah. Bye.